Assalamu alaikum and greetings to everyone. You are now with me, Nadia Melissa, for TVS Noon News, 16 October 2017. Minister of Welfare, Community Wellbeing, Women, Family and Child Development, Datuk Sri Hajar Fatima, today urged different communities in the state to continuously preserve their cultural and religious practices to continue enriching the multiracial society. She said Sarawak are fortunate to have these communities. She said this in her remarks during the launching of Sarawak's Indian Women Heritage Book in Kuching. This ceremony was inaugurated by State Governor Tun Pahin Sri Haji Abdul Tayyip Mahmud. Uncle Lili Assemblyman Dr. Jonikal Rayong Nipa told residents residing around Rumah Jangin Sari Lidong that the Ringgit Malaysia 250,000 Rural Transformation Programme Fund has been submitted for approval by the government to build a suspension bridge to link villages on both sides of the Lower Skrang River. He added that without the bridge, people plying the river may face the risk of crocodile attacks and the dangers posed by swift river currents. He said this when officiating at the Thanksgiving launch of the RTP project to connect a supply of electricity to longhouses in Skrang at Rumah Jangin Sari Kejemut in Lubok Antu. Tuai Rumah Jangin, who spoke at a function, thanked Rayong for approving the rural electrification scheme to his longhouse in particular. During the function, Royong presented a minor rural project fund of Ringgit Malaysia 7000 to Rumah Jangin Village Security and Development Committee and another Ringgit Malaysia 5000 to its Women's Bureau. Lubok Antu MP Datuk William Nyalau Badak, who was present, also pledged a MRP fund of Ringgit Malaysia 5000 and Ringgit Malaysia 3000 respectively to the JKKK and Women's Bureau. The Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission is in the final stage of finalising the list of ministries based on its placing in terms of corruption and abuse of power prior to announcing it by the end of November. MACC Deputy Chief Commissioner Dato' Shamsun Baharin Muhammad Jamil said at the moment the ranking list was waiting to be submitted to MACC Chief Commissioner Tan Sri Zulkifli Ahmad. He said this in his speech at a corruption-free pledge by the Federal Territories Ministry employee at Putrajaya. According to the previous media report, the ranking list to be announced by the MACC comprises 10 most problematic ministries and 5 cleaners in terms of corruption and abuse of power. Shamsun Baharin said KWP was the 18th ministry to sign the IBR and the MACC hoped that all 25 ministries and Selangor state government would sign the pledge by the end of this year. That's all from me, Nadia Melissa, for TVS No News. Stay tuned for more updates. You can watch us anytime, anywhere.